looky what I have here this is the Tracer 9 GT Plus very nice indeed wanted to ride one of these for a long time So, Yamaha 900 Tracer GT Plus, look at this thing, I am loving this dash. Now before we get going I'll tell you a little story, I owned the Tracer 900 uh, 2017 model, which is one of the very early ones and I absolutely loved that bike, it's one of my favourite bikes I've owned I would say. After a few years I parted with it, moved on and then the, uh, the last model of the Tracer came out, the GT and I went to uh, test ride it and as soon as I got there I saw that ridiculous screen that they put on it where it split into two halves and um, I didn't even pull it out of the showroom to go for a test ride I just hated that so much so I wasn't interested at all so I am very pleased to see that this GT Plus model has this whopping 7 inch CFT screen and it looks amazing look at that thing we do have an adjustable screen up here on the front it is a hand one but you can do that on the fly no problem look that's nice and simple and easy so like I say very familiar bike to me this one really I'm a great fan of the Yamahas and a great fan of the CP3 engine this is a fantastic triple now this bike has got lots of new tech on it one of the things is the adaptive cruise control so this bike apparently is going to I'm going to set the cruise control it's using its radar ahead and it will keep me a set distance from the vehicle ahead and apparently as we gain closer to the car this bike is going to adjust its own speed to make sure that I don't break that distance ahead so I am very curious to try that out when we get onto the main road this bike is butter smooth I tell you I can tell right away it is so smooth really nice effortless engine so we have all the gadgets you'd expect to find on this one like I say this is the GT Plus so it is fully kitted out we've got KYB semi-active electronic suspension uh, that's only on the front though the rear is adjustable but that's manual we have the usual heated grips cruise control really nice LED lighting all around we have various rider modes on this one we've got street we got sport, we got custom, we got rain. These tracers don't have to make a really nice noise. The exhaust is uh, directly underneath the bike and uh, it points at the ground underneath the bike so it just sort of reverberates and, and comes right back at you. Really nice. loads and loads of power on this it is uh, about 116 117 horsepower something like that about 226 kilos 17 inch wheels if I'm not mistaken so it is a definitely a, a sports tourer I do feel like I'm um, sort of lent towards the front a little bit it's definitely a lot smaller than the uh, the bike that I'm used to on the Africa Twin for sure. There's something I remember from uh, riding tracers before is that this is a bike that just it just edges you on. It wants you to go faster. All right, I'm going to try out this adaptive cruise control. So, cruise control on. I'm going to set that to 62 we can see here we've got this radar sign coming up so I'm going to up the speed 
Oh yeah, so I've upped the speed now to 66 and it is not accelerating because that truck is in front. So let's see what happens as we go up the hill. This truck's going to slow down as it loses momentum and we'll, uh, we'll see how the, uh, the tracer reacts to it. I promise I'm not touching any brakes, nothing on the controls at all. We'll see what happens. I, just, I really want to see what happens as we go. I know it's a steep hill here, so that truck is going to slow. Let's see how the bike reacts. Wow, that is weird. It is reducing my speed. I'm not gaining on the truck at all. Down to 55, 54. Down to 50 mile an hour now, and I promise I have not touched a thing. That is a strange feeling. Cool tech though. Right, let's see what happens when I take back control in a minute and go for the overtake. So still doing 50 miles an hour. Does that truck gain speed again? The tracer should know the truck is going further away and speed us up. Okay, it's doing just that. Oh hello, car's pulled out in front of me. That's interesting. It's like the tracer didn't notice that. Right, let's try her out proper. Boy. So the GT Plus does come with the third generation quick shifter on this one. I feel like there's going to be a lot of this I can't show you. Right, back in the room. So, like I say, there, there's a lot there that uh, I can't show you. So I've got the uh, cruise control on again there. Look. We've got a tractor in front. Let's see what happens. Look at this. Whoa, that is strange. The bike is on the brakes. Yeah, so that is a, a strange feeling. The bike gets right on its brakes and um, it does bring you gently down. It's not aggressive, but um, yeah, I mean, that's definitely not going to prevent you from having an accident, I would have thought, and I'm sure Yamaha aren't promising that. But it's definitely, um, that's going to be useful if you're on the motorway. It's going to reduce fatigue, I think, quite a bit, for sure. But I think, as always with the Yamaha Tracer, this 900 CP3 engine is what sells this bike. That engine is just awesome. It's so smooth, so much power and torque there in the mid-range. It's just fantastic. All you want to do is just drop a gear or two and whack it open just for a laugh, you know? And that is the problem with the Tracer. You will ride this like an idiot. You can't help it. It's just too much fun. So another positive for the Yamaha is that within literally 30 seconds of being shown how to use it, I understand how to use it. The controls and everything are self-explanatory. The um, adaptive cruise controls, you know, that sounds like it's going to be complicated. No problem, you can uh, just set that like normal cruise control and there's a dial at the top here which will adjust the, uh, the distance that it will allow to you for the vehicle in front. You know, we've got a mode button here, hazards, run and stop as you'd expect, all your lights and all the rest of it in the right places. But it, you know, it's ease of use is pretty good. Even when we get into the, um, the menus, you know, we flick through here, a simple menu system, 
scroll up and down, left and right, pushing for select, no problem. That's what you want. So we'll uh, pull over and uh, have a look at this one in a minute. But I just wanted to show you just how good this suspension is. I don't know how well this will come across on camera, but when I hit the brakes in a minute, this front end does not dive. Look at that. The suspension is brilliant. It feels soft and plush, and yet, I, I don't know, it, ju it just stays where it's supposed to be, you know? Well, look at this. Right, let's get off and uh, have a little look at this bike, shall we? Okay, so I, I am fishing round for this side stand. That's a bit of a nuisance. The, the pegs are right in the way with the side stand. I noticed that when I first got on the bike. Wow, well, let's have a look at this beautiful bike. First of all, this paint job is really nice. Awesome, looks, it just looks great. I really do like this bike. Not sure what to make of the front end. Well, we'll see how we get on. So this is that um, radar system we were using earlier on for the cruise control, adaptive cruise control. And I'm loving the uh, the full fairings on this one this year. That looks really nice. Hiding the uh, amazing Yamaha CP3 triple engine. Now this one does come with the panniers. We'll open those in a minute and uh, have a look, see how they are. They don't look particularly big from the outside, but we'll see. I believe it's a 19 litre tank on this one. So let's have a look inside one of these panniers then, shall we? Okay, so we got the pannier open. Now, it's great that the panniers come with this bike, this GT Plus one. But I'm not sure I'm a massive fan of the, uh, the style of the pannier there. One problem with these side opening ones is that if you've got your stuff in there, you know, obviously when you open that, everything's going to fall out whereas the top loading ones you can open it on the bike and uh, fish out bits and pieces you need so if you were going to use this i would definitely recommend putting a bag in there or something and you have to fish through that so let's take a look at this uh, seat as well this is a sports tourer and i know the seat has been an area of complaint on uh, some of the older traces but uh, this one looks quite nice actually it felt very comfortable as I was riding it earlier. I think the pillion seat perhaps could be a little bit bigger. But it depends on the size of the pillion, I guess. Uh, I like the uh, the nice fit grab, grab handles on there. I'm sure that's a very nice place to be. And I'm sure you can probably get a top box for it as well, for the pillion to lean against if needed. So we can see here, we have the adjustable suspension on the rear and it is KYB electronic suspension on the front. You do get a centre stand of course. So we do need to talk about the sound that this awesome bike makes. Now I know this is the same engine that's been in it since the original Tracer but if it isn't broken don't fix it. But this exhaust system that we have now just comes down and comes underneath the bike there and um, it just points directly at the ground and it gives a really nice noise. So let's fire this one up and uh, we'll have a little listen to this. A little beauty from Yamaha. 
that's just a beautiful bike i really like these yamahas everything is quality fit and finish and everything it's just it's so well done on these i'm definitely a fan right let's get back on it and enjoy the twisty ride back home <laughs> you almost only need second gear with this bike. You can do every speed in seconds. <laughs> that quick shifter is really, really good. Well, I'm not sure what else to say about this bike, really. It is just fantastic. I'm really enjoying the ride on the Tracer. I mean, this, you know, this GT Plus model that they've got now, it's just excellent. Very few things to complain about. Everything looks brilliant. It's Yamaha, you know you're getting reliability, you're getting that amazing CP3 engine that's been around for a few years now, and, you know, it's just so popular, and for good reason. KYB electronic suspension up front. That does a fantastic job. It's keeping the bike really level and it's still a really nice smooth ride. Amazing power delivery through the mid-range. Good comfort. Getting the panniers on there as well. There's not much to moan about. I think there's a bit of uh, getting used to to do to get the side stand out. And um, when putting your feet down, the pegs are in the way a little bit. But, you know, that's a small price to pay considering how amazing everything else is on this bike. Fan. I've always been a fan of the Yamaha Tracer and this is definitely the best one I've ridden yet. told you this thing just makes you want to play makes you want to change up and down gears just for the hell of it not because you need to but because it makes pretty noises because it's fun and then you have things like this very frustrating other cars on the road do become a huge inconvenience You're ruining my fun get out of the way Honda Jazz This thing is an absolute rocket ship. And yeah, even at speed, it still feels, you know, pretty settled and, and stable, which is good. Wind protection isn't the best, especially if you're uh, any taller than I am. I'm only five foot seven, and I'd like that screen to be a little bit taller. But that's always been a common complaint on this. Again, it's because Yamaha are prioritising the sportier look over the Tora aspect of the bike, you know, and so you get, you get the smaller screen and a little less wind protection. Right, well, I'm about to hit the traffic, getting back into Marsh Barton. I'd like to thank Yamaha in Marsh Barton and Exa for letting me have a go on this demo bike. If you get chance, get yourself out on one of these. Even if you don't uh, go for the bike, you'll have a brilliant fun hour or so. Go and do it, it's great. So hopefully I've answered lots of questions for you and uh, shown you around the bike. Give us a thumbs up, comment in the uh, comment section below, and we'll see you again on the road next time. Cheers!